Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have a large flat rate box from Classic Pack Breaks. As you can see right there is their name. Now I don't do Fan Mail Fridays anymore, but every now and then somebody sends me really cool and you know, I'll make a video about it. So Classic Pack Breaks sent me this. They told me it was a surprise, so I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but they did say it was likely worthy of their own video. So Without further ado, let's check this out and see what is inside. Fortunately, I left my box cutter upstairs and uh, went to reach for it here and it wasn't around, so gotta go with the trusty screwdriver. Whatever works. I guess my brother would appreciate that. It's, you know, the MacGyver way. Just grab whatever and get the job done. So inside there are some packing peanuts. So we break through this last little tape section here there we go and there also is a note which you can see right here it says hi eric and jabs family let me get it on the screen we think what you're doing for the hobby is pretty amazing and we appreciate that feel free to use this quote-unquote care package however you see fit we think a video opening the packs would be amazing well that's exactly what we're going to do. If there's packs in here, that's pretty awesome. Hopefully some big cards in here. Thank you for your kind words as always. And best of luck in the future. Thanks again to Ryan and Andrew from ClassicPackBreaks.com. So thank you very much, guys. Ryan and Andrew, make sure you guys check them out at ClassicPackBreaks.com. Got a bunch of packing peanuts in here. So let's just make a big old mess and get, get the stuff out of here. Now the box isn't that heavy, so there is something in here, which we'll put down right there. Got something in cardboard, which I almost feel like I should probably have my box cutter for that. And another box. So let me go grab my box cutter because I'm not gonna be stabbing at that cardboard package with a screwdriver. All right, here's what we've got out of that box. There's uh, you got a little like 100 count box here. You got something in cardboard and something in some bubble wrap. So let's check out first this 100 count storage box. Inside there are there are some old packs here. Star Wars from I don't even know 1977. It looks like so you Star Wars fans will enjoy that. We have a 1976 pack. How about that? 1976 tops. This will be the first time I've ever opened one of those. Then we have, is this 1977? I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out in a minute. And I think that might be another, is that 77? I haven't opened packs from the late 70s, so I'm not exactly sure what the, um, what the design looks like for, you know, like all the different years, but that's pretty awesome. This one's easy because it says 76. We have I think six, 76, 77, and 77 Star Wars. What else might be in here? Let's, let's check all these out first, then we'll start opening them all up. I think I saw 1980, it looks like. 1980 top cello pack. How about this one? A 59 cent cello pack from 1980 tops. That's pretty awesome. What they they give you three pieces of gum? This is sick. Thank you so much, guys. Again, guys, classicpackbreaks.com. Ryan and Andrew, this is amazing stuff. I could all I should have done this yesterday for Throwback Thursday. If I'd known there's all these old packs in there, that would have been good. But I actually came home and fell right asleep yesterday after work. Taking home till like nine something because I had to work until nine because we had conferences. But anyway. Let's see what's in here. I'm often going to go for the scissors just to make sure I don't clip any of these packs. We've got some cello packs in here. And they are from 1979 Tops. 1979 Tops cello. They were 59 cents for 39 cards back then. That's pretty crazy. So maybe we'll pull the Aussie Smith rookie out of one of these. That would be nuts. And... This is taped down a little bit, so let me open this up. There we go. It's another 19. So we've got two 79 tops cello packs. We've got 76 tops. We have 
wait, no, three. Wait, no, it's two. Sorry, I thought that there was another one sticking there. So we got the cello packs. We got 79. We've got 80. We've got 76. And we also have, oh boy, some cards from, I think, 1977, but I'm not exactly sure. So that's pretty crazy. So I don't know where we want to start. I guess we'll start with, um, I guess we'll start with Star Wars. So on the back, you can see ClassicPackBreaks.com sealed it. Um, we'll do Star Wars first because I don't know anything about Star Wars. So we'll get it out of the way. And unfortunately, I've never seen a Star Wars episode in my life, or not even an episode. I guess they're, you know, it's a series, obviously, of movies. But I grew up without cable, and this is really well packaged here. Let me take this off camera so I don't knock the tripod over and ruin everything. All right, so here's the pack. Star Wars gum from 1977. Don't know anything about any of these guys, but I'll show those of you that are Star Wars fans. There's um, Darth Vader, RT, R2-D2, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker... The Star Warriors aim for action and a sticker of Darth Vader. So that's for you Star Wars fans out there. 1977 pack. Some of you probably opened that stuff up when you were kids. All right, let's start with, uh, let's do 79 first. No, let's do 76 first. 76. We'll save 79 because it has, you know, the Aussie Smith rookie in it. We want to save that one for near the end. Also 80, we'll be looking for the Ricky Henderson rookie card. And these, I think that's 77. We'll do those ones next. Let me get these. Let me get this one opened up first. I'm going to use the scissors to get that tab opened up. And there we go. All right, so here's our pack of 76. Top Super Sports Card Locker. That's pretty cool. You could... Bring your entire collection of those big trade get-togethers. Interesting. You know the sports card locker. I bought one for like 10 bucks not too long ago. So let's open this up. 1976 tops. There we go. My first ever time opening 1976. We got Dave Goltz, Glenn Adams, Rusty Staub. That's not a bad one. Lou Brock, all-star card, Ken Singleton. Flip it over. We've got Dave Lemansic. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Doyle Alexander. We got Blowing Bubblegum, Babe Ruth, and Rod Carew. So not a bad pack. Rod Carew, Lou Brock, and a Babe Ruth Sporting News card. Rusty Staub, not too shabby for 1976 tops. And there's a stick of gum, which literally looks like it's edible. A piece of 1976 gum. Um, I'm not going to eat it, but this looks very, very crisp and clean. Next up, I'm, I guess this is 77. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it says the year on it anywhere. So if I'm wrong, I will obviously correct myself. It might be, I don't know, 78. I don't think I've opened any wax. of. Se it's definitely not 79. I know that because I have opened two wax boxes of 79. If I can tell you that. Let me get this opened up here tape on the back which makes it a little difficult I'll peel that off there we go bear with me all right again they're advertising for that sports card locker on the back of the, the pack there so there's the pack um major league baseball picture cards with one stick of gum here we go it is 1978. 1978 is the year, not 1977. So we start off with Mike Garman. We'll be looking for Eddie Murray rookie card. That'll be the one we're after. Grant Jackson, Manny Sarmiento, Bobby Bonds, Willie McCovey. That's a nice pull. Hall of Famer Willie McCovey, Tucker Ashford, Brent Strom, pitching coach of the Astros. At least he was when I went down to Minute Maid Park. Jamie Quirk, Padres team card. Steve Mingori, I guess. John Curtis. Another team card of the Tigers. And Pat Scanlon is the last one there. So not too bad. Got a Willie McCovey. 
Next pack, 1978 tops, which is not a cheap box whatsoever. I'm I can't remember what a box of 78 goes for, but I know it's at least a grand, probably more than that. It's been a little while since I've been looking at 78 since I did the solo box. All right, so here we go with our next pack. Just got to get it out of the wrapper there. Here we go. 78 tops, pack number two. On the back, we've got Ed Kirkpatrick. By the way, the gum looking pretty good. Not going to eat it, though. Ed Kirkpatrick, Pat Rocket, Sixto Lescano. Andre Dawson, very nice. Andre Dawson with the gold cup. Very nice card. His rookie card is 1977 tops. He's on there with three other prospects. But this is Andre Dawson's first card all by himself. That's a nice one. I like that one a lot. I don't think I have that one. It's in very, very nice shape. Coming fresh out of the pack. Daryl Thomas, Ron Guidry. That's a good one. Dave Goltz, team card of the Royals. Then we have Tippy Martinez. Roy Howe, Vic Harris, Bob Davis. And a Nolan Ryan record breaker. Very nice. Most games, 10 or more strikeouts lifetime. Nolan Ryan and Vern Rapp. So pretty good pack right there with the Andre Dawson and Nolan Ryan. Two great Hall of Famers. Next up, I'm going to go with the Rack Packs and try to get the Aussie Smith. And I want to try to get the Henderson last. I mean, we've already pulled an Aussie Smith once. So I'd probably be a little more excited over finding a Henderson. But I'd still be super pumped to find a Smith. All right. So I'm just going to cut it like this. I kind of feel bad, like, opening this up. This is just gorgeous. They give you this special little card here on the back. Again, advertising that sport card locker like crazy every single year. All right, let's see what we have. We can see the last couple cards there. All right, so we got Bucky Dent, who the Red Sox fans just love. Rob Wilfong, Tommy John, famous for the surgery. Gary Maddox, Denny Martinez, El Presidente, Otto Velez, Charlie Moore, Bob Watson, who was once the president of the American League, I think. Ron Hodges. Joe Coleman and Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson's Punch Out, my favorite game for a while there when I was a kid. Although that's obviously the wrong Mike Tyson. So let's hope these are not from Sheet C. We had an incident where we opened a whole box and they're all from Sheet C, which is basically everyone on Sheet C is mostly common players. All right, so hopefully we find some Hall of Famers. We've had some luck so far tonight finding some Hall of Famers. And this stack. Doesn't look like it might have any whatsoever with two cards left, Burt Hooten and Preston Hanna. So that's, a, you know, all commons, but that's usually how it goes. You're not going to find a Hall of Famer in every pack. There's 700, was it 792 and 79 or 660? I can't remember, but out of all those hundreds and hundreds of cards, there might be, what, like 40 Hall of Famers or so. Rick Camp, Johnny Sutton. Vern Roll, there we go. Lou Brock, most stolen bases in a career, which would be eclipsed by Ricky Henderson. We'll be looking for him in a minute. And that last pack, Dennis Lamp, always had that interesting mustache. Bob Shirley, Dave Roberts, Jamie Easterly, and Wayne Gross. So nothing crazy out of that rack pack, but we've got a whole other one to look through. So, man, I wish I had a time machine to go back, pick up a bunch of these packs. All right, so here we go. we got Ed Herman, John Milner, Willie Upshaw, Greg Nettles, who was a decent player, Fred Stanley, Yvonne De Jesus, Kent DeColvey. Will we find the Aussie? I don't know, but we've got Andre Dawson again. Very nice. Hall of Famer. Reggie Jackson, all-star card. Both of them in great shape. Steve Dillard and terry pool so some nice ones right there again guys classic pack breaks.com if you'd like to pick up some of these packs for yourself head on over there and pick some up this is pretty awesome it'd be a nice uh nice youtube video if you are into opening old packs for your videos we got some checklists so that's cool i guess a couple checklists in the same stack. Bobby Gritch, Jim Bibby, Mickey Stanley, Tucker Ashford. Down to our last little column here. Trying to find the Aussie. Even if we don't find him, this was uh, probably better 
rack packed in the last one because we had Andre Dawson along with Reggie in there. So here we go. John Stearns, Daryl Jackson. We've got a rookie card coming up. Danny Darwin rookie card. He's the uh, big name on there, quote unquote big name. The other guys just really didn't make it. Greg Pryor, Pete Rose, 1978 record breaker. Pretty cool card there. Pete Rose always had that interesting bowl cut. Mike Sadek, Junior Kennedy, Gene Richards, not the Padre War after Rod Carew and Dave Parker. Dave Parker's got a shot to get in the Hall of Fame this year. He's on the veterans, uh, or he's gone against or up for consideration by the Veterans Committee. But anyway, here's our last pack from Classic Pack Breaks. It is a 1980 Tops pack. Ricky Henderson, will we find him? Let's hope so. This is pretty awesome. I've seen these before, these scratch-off things that were kind of longer. I always wondered where they kind of came from. Now I know. Pretty interesting how Tops would make their cello packs look like this. Let's just get this off. It might be scissor time already. Or maybe not. It's well, got to be careful here. Don't want to damage the cello. So here we go. Very good wrapping job. Looks like it's wrapped again. Let me do this off camera so I don't knock it over. Got to have a precision cut right along the seam there to get this opened up. 1980 tops. So I once opened a whole box of 1980 tops a few months ago. And I didn't find the Ricky Henderson. So this might be my big chance. Billy Sample's on the front. There's some gum there, which is interesting how they package it. I can't see who is on the back. So this was from the year I was born, 1980. Pretty awesome. Comes apart like that. You have this instruction card for, oh, they're really pushing that sports locker. Every single year from 76 to 80. Here's, I'm most interested with this gum. Check it out. It's like um, almost like double bubble. Remember how they used to sell double bubble and little like sleeves like this, and they were individually wrapped inside. Used to love it. That's exactly what. It, ooh, that's exactly what it looks like. And I've got some residue on my hand. A little bit of stickiness right there. So we're not going to eat that. But that's pretty cool how it has Major League Baseball wrapping on it. So. All right, so let's see if we can find the Ricky Henderson. we got Billy Sample leading things off. Willie Hernandez, Roy White, George Foster all-star card. Dave Kingman and Gorman Thomas, Larry Murray, John Milner, Lamar Johnson, Eric Rasmussen, another Willie McCovey. I think that's our at least second Willie McCovey that we pulled tonight. Roy Thomas, Mike Tyson, Joe Wallace, Vaughn Joshua, Ron Hassey, J.R. Richard, who... You know, was on a Hall of Fame track until his stroke cut his career short. Age like 31 or 32. Burt Blyland's a Hall of Famer. Ricky, where are you? Ricky Henderson running out of time to find him. About three cards left, and we didn't find it. But that was fun to look through. Thank you very much. ClassicPackBreaks.com. Go and check them out. Um, you can see they have lots of different packs from... The late 70s to early 80s and probably a bunch more that, you know, they, they might even have some from the 60s. But obviously, they're not, they're not going to send a pack from the 60s. Those things are super rare. But go check them out. See what they have. Pick up some packs for yourself. And uh, as you can see, we had some decent luck pulling some Hall of Famers out of there. Didn't get the good rookies. But, you know, if we would have pulled a Ricky Henderson or Ozzie Smith, that would be potentially like a $20,000 card if it would come fresh out of a pack and be PSA 10. Uh, again, again, even if you get it fresh out of a pack, Still going to be tough to get a PSA 10. There's only like five or six in existence. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Head on over to ClassicPackBreaks.com. Thanks again to Ryan and Andrew. Um, really appreciate that. You guys got a great uh, company over there. And uh, I hope this brings you guys some more business and helps your website grow. So I'll probably tomorrow have a new release preview of Panini Flawless, which came out on Wednesday. Uh, stay tuned for that. I hope you have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow.